Welcome to Off The Record. I'm your host, Marika Day, dietitian, nutritionist, recovering perfectionist, and founder of Fueled by Marika Day. Join me here each week as we delve into what it really means to be a healthy and happy human. You'll hear from conversations with experts in their fields to raw and real chats about aspects of health and life that we really don't hear enough about. You'll be left feeling inspired, educated, and empowered to be the best version of you. So sit back, relax, or head on out for your walk, and let's dive on in. Hey, everyone, and welcome back to this very special episode. Now, there is a couple of reasons why this is a very special episode. Firstly, because we are chatting about all things fueled, which is obviously so exciting because we are finally, I can actually tell you when we are going to be going live, which after so many rounds of being let down and disappointed with this entire process of developing a web app and all of the intricacies that's involved, I feel like we've finally got some certainty in our lives. And I'm going to run through today some of the, I guess, milestones that we've gone through in this development process, just so I can give you guys a bit of a, I guess, a bit of a backdoor entry into what has gone on in the development of this and how I guess we have tried to uh, make this as customized to you and your needs as we possibly can. The other thing that I wanted to share with you and also thank you for and show my gratitude to you is that we are now at one year of podcasting, which is so exciting that we've done one full year consecutively. Um, What I am going to let you know, though, is that we are going to be taking a short break from the podcast, which is something that I'm actually really, really looking forward to doing. And there is a reason behind this is that... One, I'm going on a little holiday, which is really exciting. But two, I'm trying to live by my own values and the values that we instill in Fueled um, as much as possible. And that is about balance. And so for me, that means stopping and reassessing, you know, when do I need to take a break? When am I doing things because I feel like that I need to do them versus I feel like that they are you know, really adding to my life, to your lives. And the podcast for me was something that I'm so passionate about because it gives us such an avenue to discuss things in details and for me to be able to really quite intimately connect with you over a long period of time. Like I feel like I can actually go for walks with you guys, which is really cool. However, the last couple of weeks, as things have sort of come to a peak with launching Fueled, I've felt really sort of burnt out and run down. So I've decided we're going to take a short break from the podcast and we will be back in, I was going to say the new year, the new financial year. So um, in the beginning of July. So this will actually be our final episode for a couple of weeks. Um, But obviously, if there are any episodes that you've missed over the last year, you can go back and listen to them over the next couple of weeks. And yeah, we will be back strong in July, refreshed and ready to go. Got some really, really cool um, interviews lined up for July, August as well. So getting really into some really niche topics. So things like relative energy deficiency and hypothalamic uh, amenorrhea. So talking about some of the, um, I guess, medical conditions and nutrition related conditions that some of you may experience. My goal today is to get through this episode without crying. Now, the reason why is that Fueled is something that I am so passionate about. My purpose with Fueled, if you haven't listened to the podcast that I did solely on that, is really about helping people live a really healthy and balanced life and helping people to be able to pursue health without it being so ridiculously strung up in diet culture and bullshit and restriction and really unhealthy habits. So it's actually coming back to the core of how can we be healthier and happier humans in a really balanced manner so that we can actually enjoy our lives. And from what I've seen, you know, working one on one with clients and you know, even speaking at events and those sorts of things where I've engaged with a lot of people and again, even on social media is that there is 
so much fear out there about how we should and shouldn't be eating. And it really breaks my heart that, you know, we're spending so much time and energy on making decisions around our food when there are so many more important things in life that should be getting our time and energy, be it our families, be it our um, just present in our environment. You know, going for a walk on the beach should be about walking on the beach. It shouldn't be about thinking about, oh God, like, you know, can I have this for dinner or will that be too many calories or is that too many carbs? Is it healthy enough? That should not be our daily dialogue because we are essentially wasting our precious brain power on these decisions around food when that brain power could be going to far more important endeavors and solving far bigger world problems or life problems or just keeping you happy and sane and relaxed and at peace with yourself. So Fueled is something that yeah is is something that is I'm so passionate about and I have been for a very very long time and these last six months so to take you back we were actually meant to launch Fueled on the 25th no 20, the day after Australia Day so 27th of January I think that is that was actually meant to be our launch day and we were geared up and ready to go for that and now it is. If you're listening to this on the day that it goes live, it is the 8th of June. So we're a good six months behind schedule. Um, And one of the things being a recovering perfectionist is that it's all things so far out of my control that I feel like each week in the last six months, I've just been handed disappointment after disappointment after disappointment. And I haven't even been able to communicate that with you guys. I'm going to cry. Um, and I, f- I feel like I've let you guys down by not delivering this sooner. And I know that's not true. I know that, you know, ultimately you're going to get this platform and you're going to be able to engage with it, enjoy it. And it's not going to matter that, you know, it was delivered six months later. But I really respect you guys that are my audience and I really, you know, appreciate having you along on this journey with me and as I said, yeah, part of me does feel like that I've let you down a little bit by not getting this to you when I promised that it was going to be there. Um, and some of the reasons why that I won't go into detail about why those things happen. There's a lot that's happened from the development perspective. Um, but essentially we were sort of strung along week by week as, you know, it it, it could be next week. It could be next week. It could be next week for six months. So it has been a hell of a process to just keep every single week, just keep showing up and just keep, you know, going, okay, it might be this week. It might be this week. So it has been really, really challenging for me the last six months because I feel like that I haven't been able to deliver my purpose when I thought we were so close. So if you want to hear the really, really good news is that we have officially received the site. It is working. It looks incredible. We have no more bugs left on the site and we can finally start to get excited about this baby launching. So again, we were meant to launch on the 1st of June, obviously, We've surpassed that date, but we, as I said, we do have a functioning site now that is ready to go and we are going to be launching at the end of June. So in the last week of June, I'm not going to tell you the exact date because that will send, be sent out in an email in the next week. Um, But yeah, it'll be the last week of June. And again, the reason for that is that we were meant to launch last week. I'm actually going overseas in the next week. So the timing honestly could not have been worse. So I've had about six meltdowns this week over how did this all happen at the same time? But we've come up with a plan and we are launching at the, in the end of June, ready for new financial year, ready for the last half of 2022. So I am so excited and so relieved and just so happy that we're going to be able to start this process with you and we're able to start getting your feedback because I think that's the thing that I'm most looking forward to is it doesn't even matter what we're launching with. For me, this is a lifetime journey. This is about 
listening to my audience, you guys, and seeing, okay, well, what do you want more of? What do you want less of? How can we make sure that this platform is the most valuable experience to you on your health journey? And how can we make it feel so safe and so inclusive and support you on your journey in the best way possible? Okay, so before I go into detail about my favorite features that we have on the platform, I figured I should do a quick refresher as to what Fueled by Marika Day actually is for anyone who might be new here or hasn't been paying attention on socials because I have been speaking about it a little bit. Um, It is an online nutrition platform that is helping you to fuel your body and feel confident within your skin. Uh, It's obviously an evidence-based platform where we are helping you to learn more about nutrition. So it's a really educational platform so that instead of just telling people what to eat, which I hate about so many of the, you know, fitness and nutrition apps, it's just like, oh, well, you have to follow our meal plan and that's all we've got to offer when it comes to nutrition. So what I wanted to do was to make sure that we have what we've got is mini courses where you can learn all about different nutrition topics. So to launch, we're going to have some on emotional eating. We're going to have some on like iron deficiency, um, alcohol, you know, there's about, I think we've got 13 courses on launch um, and that's going to be something that will be ever expanding. Uh, And like I said, the purpose of that is to help you to be empowered with knowledge and information because Once you know a little bit more and know from somebody that you can trust, and I hope that you can trust me, I hope if you're listening to this, it means you trust me, um, that then you can walk away and make educated decisions for yourself based on your health and your journey. And I guess that's what Fueled is all about. It's supporting you on your journey where you're at based on your lifestyle and your goals and your priorities, because We're all individual and we all have different lives and lifestyles that we live and we all have different priorities. And I just don't see how, you know, without this education and understanding of how to make these decisions for yourself and make them quite quickly and effortlessly and easily that we can then, you know, go about in a really healthy manner. Um, And a balanced matter because we're so sort of bogged down with, oh, well, so-and-so told me that I have to do this. Whereas what I want to do is to empower you to make your own decisions with confidence. So we've got our education, we've got our recipes, we've got menu planning so you can sort of plan your meals for the week. Um, We've also got our dietitian created. I'm obviously a dietitian if you haven't picked up on that. Um, dietitian created preset uh, weekly menu. So if you don't really know what you want to have, you know, you, you need a bit more guidance there, then you can follow one of our menus. But I actually am going to strongly recommend that you don't. My biggest suggestion is to create your own daily or weekly menu so that you can choose the foods that you want there. It's not about what I like or what I want. It's about you guys. So we have that. The other thing with fueled is that we have this real mental health undertone to it and i say undertone but it's pretty like overtone (laughs) um and the reason for this is multifactorial Uh, first and foremost is that i don't think we can really achieve true health without considering our mental health because what i found again in the sort of health and fitness space is that so many uh, companies and so many platforms are promoting this like health message, but the outcome of a lot of, you know, the restrictive dieting that they're engaging is that it's actually negatively impacting an individual's mental health or potentially even their physical health. But most notably, what I've seen is that someone's mental health is significantly affected by this journey. So what I want to do is to, with Fueled, create a health and well-being journey um, lifestyle that people are supported from a mental well-being standpoint and actually strengthened. So it's not like, you know, we're not damaging your mental health, but we're actually, you know, building that up and we're building up some resilience um, in terms of mental well-being as well. Um, The other reason why I have included uh, two other reasons why we've included this real strong mental health component is that when it comes to our nutrition choices, we can't think about nutrition in isolation. 
And one of the biggest factors that I think that plays into nutrition is how our emotional state is. And I've got a whole podcast on this, so you can um, flick back and listen to that podcast if you're interested in how your emotional state impacts your food choices. But it is fairly significant. So for example, if we think about like, you know, stress eating or emotional eating, or even, you know, past traumas that have caused us to, you know, cope in certain ways around food, these things are more common than you may know about. So um, if you're feeling that you are the only one who might be doing something, I can promise you, you are not the only one. And there is a significant amount of people out there who are you know, struggling with the same things that you might be struggling with or coping in the same ways that you might be coping. And so I felt like in order for me to be able to provide, you know, a nutrition program, I didn't want to, and I'm going to use an analogy here. And if you've, you know, been on this journey with me for a long time, you know how much I love an analogy, but I felt like if I was just to provide recipes and some nutrition information without this like consideration of mental well-being is that it would just be like trimming the hedges. So like, you know, this is what I I think with diets is like, it's just trimming the hedges. It's, you know, you're not actually getting to the underlying, you know, causes of why are we here? Like what is, what's happening that's got us into this position. And for a lot of people, stress and anxiety and the pressures of daily living are having a significant impact on our um, way of eating. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, using food as a coping mechanism, again, I'm going to plug, I've got a whole podcast on using food as a coping mechanism, but using food as a coping mechanism is not a bad thing. But if it's impacting your way of life, or if it is not aligned with the person that you want to be, then it's something worth working on. But if you're using food as a coping mechanism, no diet or no meal plan or no nothing is actually going to address that. It's addressing what are your coping mechanisms? Who are you turning to? And where is your safety and your support network? And I guess that's where I wanted to sort of step in with Fueled and go, okay, what can we offer in this space? Obviously we're not psychologists um, and we can't offer that one-on-one, you know, personalized service, but what can we offer in terms of a community, in terms of mental support with, you know, our meditations, um, with our mindfulness practices, how can we support people in this journey to make sure that they are as strong and resilient as possible when they are going on their journey? Okay, so when we talk about features on the platform, now I've realized that I haven't actually explained the platform properly. So it is a web app, which means that it functions like an app, except you won't be downloading it from the app store. You'll be downloading it directly from our website and you can bookmark it to your iPhone or Android. Um, And so you've got a little icon there and can access it exactly the same as an app. So this is how um, you'll be accessing it. Uh, but it will just look and function exactly like most other apps that you will have. So I kind of toy between using the word app and platform, but I don't want to say app too much just because I don't want people to think that, you know, app store is where they're going to find it. It's actually on fueledbymarikaday.com where you will find it. Okay, so features. I'm going to go through my favorite features. One is probably the ability to turn off and on our nutrition information. I think this is something that is really unique in this space. And I think something that is really needed in this space because so many people have different needs when it comes to whether they want to know about how many calories or carbs or protein or fiber in their food, depending on their goals and depending on their mental status as well. So we've been able to provide the option where you can choose to look at the nutrition information provided in our recipes, or you can flick a switch in the settings that turns that all off, which I'm really, really excited about. As I mentioned earlier, one of my other favorite things is the whole building your own um, menu so that you can decide what you want, when you want it, you can put in takeaway or leftovers, Um, eating out and we've got some really basic snacks in there so I'm trying to make this like I've literally got you in my mind as I've created this entire process 
And (laughs) it's trying to go, how can we make this as easy as possible and as practical as possible? So for example, some of the snacks that we have in our recipes, even though they're not recipes, but some of the snacks we've got in there is like a piece of fresh fruit, or we've got, you know, really simple things like crackers with avocado or tomato and cheese. So that when it comes to creating a menu for yourself for the week or for the day or however often in advance you plan, then you can actually add in real life snacks. One of the things I hated about so many of the apps is that all of the snacks, when, you know, when you're doing your you know, planning of your meals, they were like bliss balls and muffins, and which are great. Like, don't get me wrong. We've got them and I love them. But I'm not making them all day, every day for every snack. Like sometimes I just want fruit or I just want some crackers or, um, you know, those sorts of things. So we've actually been able to include them in there so that then you can really like in a really balanced manner plan your week. Now, this isn't so much a feature, but more a commitment that we have is that we don't do transformation photos. And The reason for this is that transformation photos are so misleading, so misleading. The way that you can manipulate your body just from lighting, so turning on different lights and turning off different lights, from standing in different angles and changing where you put your, like let's say underwear, whether you have it hoiked up, I can't say that word, um, or whether it's sort of low cut, um, just from those things, you can see a significant difference in somebody's body. That's not even taking into consideration how easy it is with the apps these days to manipulate your body and how realistic it looks when you do manipulate your body. So before and after photos are just so misleading. It doesn't mean that, you know, maybe it is real what somebody has achieved, but even if it was real that somebody had gone from transformation photo A to transformation photo B, that does not depict their health. You have no idea, you know, have they actually gained health in this journey or have they lost health in this journey? How is their mental status? Like how is their mental well-being? Um, there's so many factors that you can't tell by looking at a photo and I just don't want a business that feeds into this notion that the way that we look is more important than how we feel. I just, I can't have a business that does that. And so for me, Fueled was like, as soon as we started planning for it, um, I needed to make sure that that was something that it was across the board, that that was never going to happen. And we needed to be really clear that that was not our journey, not our story. And if it's yours and your journey and your story, and if that's what, you know, as a business owner, you might do, then that's fine. But for us, it really is about thinking, how do you feel? How is your health and well-being above how you look? I just can't feed into this notion that how we look is more important than who we are as a human and how we feel. And finally, I want to tell you about our foundation membership offer. So this is going out to our email database. So if you are not on our email database, it is time you get on it. We don't send out, you know, bulk emails. We don't spam. It's just lovely emails from me. Um, You can sign up at fueledbymarikaday.com. It will have a coming soon page and just pop in your email address there and I will send you information in the coming week. So the foundation membership will be one low price that you'll lock in for the duration of your membership. So as long as you are a member, you will lock in that price. Um, And it will be our only offering that we will have in terms of memberships for the first couple of weeks. Um, So we'll just be selling foundation memberships until we are sold out of them. And then we'll move into our regular pricing and our regular membership options. Now, the reason why I really wanted to do foundation memberships is because I wanted to have a community of you that are ready to go. Like, you know, you are, you've been waiting for this for so long. You've been on the journey with me from the beginning and I really want to thank you and invite you, I guess, into this process with me where 
as I said, my purpose with Fueled is to continue to evolve and create a platform that really meets your needs. And I guess that's what the foundation memberships are for is like, come on this journey with me and I want to hear from you. I want to learn from what, you know, what you like and what you don't like and what you love and what you hate so that we can create not only just a platform that is really making a difference in your lives and everybody else's lives, but actually making a difference in the way that we perceive health and well-being and the industry. And that's where I think that I really hope that the foundation members are like coming along for the ride with me and helping to actually create this really exciting journey for hopefully changing the way that we think about health and well-being, which is just really cool. So I feel like I didn't cry and I actually got really excited. Um, <laughs> I'm actually really proud of myself for that. I've had, I've had a week and um, this is probably the most excited that I've been all week. So I'm so glad that I did this because as I said, it's been, it's been really challenging and it's um, been a hell of a journey and I'm so glad that I've gone through it and I'm so glad that uh, we are going to be launching in the next three weeks. Um, and yeah, we will be, I'll send out an email next week. I think it is with the information on the foundation offers and over socials over the next three weeks, you'll start to see all of the information dripping in. Um, I can't believe it's actually happening. Like it, it honestly feels so surreal. This has been, again, if you listen to the, the field purpose podcast, this has been, you know, eight years in the making when we go back to you know the purpose and the 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 passion behind it but in like actual making it's been two years since we began ideation and writing down everything and starting to put all of what's in my head onto paper and then into (laughs) into code eventually um so it's yeah it's been a process and we are so close and I'm just taking this moment to say Thank you so much for your support over the years. Thank you so much for your patience. Um, I am so grateful for it and I can't wait to deliver this platform to you. And I really hope that we can go on this journey together. And I really hope that it may, I'm going to cry now. I really hope that it makes a difference in your life and the way that you live and that it changes, I guess, the dialogue that we potentially have with ourselves around our bodies and, um, the dialogue that we have with our children, with our friends and with our families um, so that we can come from a place of so much more respect for our bodies and fueling our bodies as opposed to hating them and restricting them. So I'm so excited. And again, thank you so much for coming on this journey. Um, If you want any more information, just make sure that you're signed up on fueledbymarikaday.com. Um, As I said, the emails will start coming out in the next couple of days and weeks and same on social medias. You can follow us at Fueled by Marika Day or um, me personally at Marika Day. So thank you again. Love you guys. Uh, Have a wonderful next couple of weeks. I just realized I'm not going to be on the podcast for a couple of weeks until we are live. So this is the final episode for a couple of weeks and I will catch you guys in July enjoy your next couple of weeks and I can't wait to see you in the platform. I hope I will actually be speaking with you in the platform before um, the next podcast comes out as well. So see you there. Um, Thank you again for your support, your patience and everything. I'm just so grateful. Have a wonderful rest of your day, whether it's in the morning, noon or night.